Welcome back to beautiful Fairbanks Park. Right now, the grounds of the Banks of the Wabash Festival in uh, the little town of Terre Haute, just about an hour north of Indianapolis, Indiana. Once there lived a creative soul just outside of Atlanta. He had a good job, but never fit in. He had a big apartment, but it cost him a limb. So one day he packed it all up and threw it into storage hit the open road and became a traveling characterist. Now he lives in a camper and travels all the time. He works at fairs and festivals. For the price of a single click, you can join the ride. Also, don't forget to ring that bell icon. Uh, it is Thursday, May the 23rd, 2019, about 11.30 in the morning, and uh, it's time for me to start getting set up. Uh, we don't really have to be set up until five. I'm aiming more for at least four. So it looks like I've got about four and a half hours. I think, I think I'll be able to manage it. Uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and do the whole time-lapse thing. That's something I've done many times so that I realize I have a lot of new uh, subscribers that probably haven't seen it yet. So we're gonna do a time-lapse of the tent being set up. And if I get set up in time, I'm gonna head over to Square Donuts for breakfast. Stick around. Hope you guys enjoyed that time lapse but the booth is 100% completely set up and it's only 115 so it turned out to be a really good thing that I didn't set this up last night before I went to bed because we had a thunderclap crazy rainstorm out here uh, it it rains at least one hell hellacious rainstorm every year out here at some point during the 10 days of this festival. Hopefully it's gotten it out of its system already. Uh, but the, the thunder actually hit so loud once I could feel the camper move a little bit. I didn't know that was possible. At any rate, we still got a couple hours before I have to be open, so I think this stuff will be safe. I'm gonna go ahead and head on over to Square Donuts and uh, eat some breakfast. And just like that, we are out here at Square Donuts. I, oh, somebody trying to pull in the parking spot there. A favorite of the locals, uh, so much so that a lot of times before 3 o'clock when they close, they're already out of donuts for the day. Uh, but you might ask, what's so different about these? As far as taste goes, not much. But if you think about it, the Square makes it where you can fit more donut into a box. It also makes the donut making machines a lot, a lot more efficient. So, let's see what they got left. And this is all they got left, guys. It looks like I got here just in time. There's a full half dozen going out right now. Or was that a full dozen? Okay, so. What, what's, what is this one here? Oh, that's the cream field. That's the kind I wanted anyway right there. Nice. I ended up going with a powdered raspberry jelly filled and the chocolate with the white cream filled. Uh, let's let's start with this one. Mm. That's actually better than what I remember last time. I think maybe it's a little fresher or something. That's uh, a breakfast of champions right there. Well, I just scarfed down those two donuts in like five minutes, and looking up here, the rack is empty. There was a couple of other little families that came in and bought the last of it. Wow, I got here. I got here just in time. I better go ahead and leave so they can lock up. You're getting an early day today. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you too. Wow, square donuts. It is now 2.30, and I'm outside of Disc Replay. Sign is normally up there on the building, but it looks like everything's been stripped off because this storefront is getting uh, some kind of uh, some kind of facelift. But the store's still there; it's open. 
And it's my second favorite used video game store of all time. First, number one favorite being Two Dudes Gaming in Elizabethan, Tennessee. So, I figured I would come on in here. Probably not going to buy much today. Uh, but, if the festival goes well, I'll be able to come in here and buy some stuff. This is going to be more of a scope out. Let's see. What do I want to get? Oh, already I'm seeing something. Lego Island 2. The first one was a PC game. It was a legendarily uh, charming PC game that people still are very nostalgic about. I don't... I've got that one. I didn't know they had made a second one, though. Duke's a Hazard 2. Seven dollars. Yeehaw! <laughs> now, last year they had a copy of Shatterhand for the NES, NES in here. But... I didn't get it. Wow. <laughs> really well organized GBA cabinet. You can see the front of everything, their price, and uh, nothing's covered up. I've been looking for Wade Hickston's uh, counterpunch. Well, Wade Hickston's counterpunch is not here, but I am seeing something that I have only ever heard about and never seen before. That is this one. Drill Dozer. They want thirty dollars for it. Uh, that's gonna be. It's gonna have to be one that I, I come back for. That is, if I make enough money to justify it, and it's still here, I would like to get that. I've got a nicely stocked Wii U section here. A few things. I didn't even know there was a Hot Wheels for the Wii U. This is becoming a very easy system to collect for. I mean, even Breath of the Wild is down to $30, $33. I, I still paid $5 for it at a thrift store. Oh my goodness, I've almost completed this game. Right here. Right, I'm on the end boss of the SteamWorld heist. Got one, two, three, four, and... And five. Five copies of a Skyward Sword in one place. Have you ever seen that many? And then right next to four copies of Kirby's Return to Dreamland? <laughs> they normally just see them by themselves. Wow. $33 a piece, though. <sighs> More valuable PS2 games in the case. I'll be happy to say that I actually have Return to Arms. And I have Ghost in the Shell. Don't have... I've got an Obscure, but I don't think it's this version here. That, Tomba. I've only ever seen that. Like, one other time. That, that one's becoming more and more rare. It was in the, the late end of the life of the PlayStation, original PlayStation. That's a really great platformer, though. I'm pretty sure I have that one. Didn't know that existed. Oh boy, take a look at that one, guys. Animaniacs. $9.99, Volume 2. There's. Oh my goodness, Steven Spielberg there with the Animaniacs. I got him. Again, this is probably one that I'm. I think I'm just gonna have to come back for this one. Oh, I want this though. Uh, it's about 3.30 now, guys. I just got out, and as much as I swore I wasn't gonna spend a lot of money in there, I knew this was gonna happen. I shouldn't have even gone in. I ended up spending about 50 bucks. I did a bad thing. Uh, anyway, I, I got I got Animaniacs Volume 2 because you never see this. You never see this anywhere. I had to get it uh, because I was afraid that if I left and then thought, man, I wish I had that, I'd come back and it'd be gone. Didn't want that to happen. And then I got um, Island extreme stunts for the uh, Lego Island series. This is, of course, pepperoni from the Lego Island right there on it. Uh, I never see this anywhere, and um, I, I found, also found the Lego Island 2 for the original PlayStation. I hardly ever see this, and it, it was 10 bucks. So, um, I, I'm pretty sure I have the original Lego Island for the PC hanging around somewhere. I'm pretty sure I, I picked it up somewhere. And uh, then I've got the one for the GBA, so I've got a pretty good amount of them now, probably not all of them. 
Then I got Dukes of Hazard 2 because it's it's kind of rare and it was only seven dollars, uh, and I've got the original. And then Frogger 3D for the 3DS because I want to get all the newer generation versions of Frogger so I can make a compilation uh, video one day showing how it's changed going up through the years. And I think it ended pretty much on the PlayStation 2, so I got all the PlayStation 2 versions. Uh, uh, and that that was one I didn't know existed yet. And then I got Space Chimps because the Metal Jesus uh, showed this as a hidden gem on one of his recent hidden gems videos. And the, the game was made before they knew the movie was going to flop. Uh, so the programmers did a pretty good, worked pretty hard to try to make this a nice, lush, kind of alien rural platformer type game. Kind of short, but uh, from what I hear, actually very engaging and, and fun to play. Uh, so that's that's all I got, and if you'll notice that is that's six things. That's because they they have this buy five and then get one thing free. So yeah, I was like, well, I've got four. Might as well get two more. They got me. Still other things in there I really wanted to get, but I put some of them back. And I just I need to stay away from this replay. It just sucks me in every time. Uh, well, it's time I get on to work and start making some of this money back. <sighs> it's about 4.45 now, 15 minutes till opening time. We got a few people still setting up. My neighbors here showed up 30 minutes till opening time. And they've already started pushing past the stake into my area. Uh, that is not a good sign. Alright guys, done, not a whole lot of people here yet. So I figured I would go ahead and give you guys at least a little bit of a walk around. Oh, right, right. So family park, so they yeah, couldn't, they couldn't use the long neck. Frown the beer bottles. The beer bottles. So we, we went, he went with the uh, Mountain Dew yeah, instead. About one Mountain Dew a day, so I didn't have to go look for the bottles. <laughs> But uh, yeah, some cute little bottle holders there. Well, these guys here are the only ones that I recognize this year. All of my regulars are gone except you guys. I wondered if you was here or not. No, yeah, I'm definitely here. I'm uh, I'm lamenting the loss of our our sign guys, the ones that did uh, the the names, yeah, uh, the name plates with the coping saw. Yeah, he's uh, started a home business, oh. and he's got more work than he could handle. He, uh, All that darn success, and now I he forget made a about uh, us. curio cabinet for somebody. Uh huh. And then, hey, can you make me? Can you make me? Can you make me? Oh, some? he hit the jackpot. Yeah. Oh man. He made a gun rack for somebody. Yeah. And, if you guys look back at last year at this festival, my neighbor had a bulldog. No, no. Excuse me. It was a pit bull. It was a gray pit bull that actually got along with Nestor. Huh? Nestor was a kitten at the time, and they made friends. Yeah. <laughs> I got a question for you. Yeah, and they're not here. Uh, What's what? the three rings of any relationship? Oh, good grief. I'm not in one, so I can't tell you. What are they? Engagement ring, wedding ring, and suffering. Suffering. <laughs> yeah, okay. He's full of them, guys. I read that on Facebook. Yeah, this is pretty much banana box dealers here. A lot of, uh, you know, where you can buy stuff by the crate full from uh, in bulk from online dealers and just take it out here and unpack your boxes and put it on a put it on a fold up table and uh, make a few thousand dollars off of it. A lot of people are doing that now. It's actually kind of smart. It takes some work. It's kind of smart to do. And. Uh, Seeing it more and more and more. Uh, it is now officially opening time. And you can see the strollers have already arrived. And uh, this person is still setting up. So pretty much their unloading vehicle is blocking other vendors from letting the uh, customers get in front of their booth. This, uh, that's a no-no. That's, that's rude. If you're going to, um, if you're gonna work at a festival, get there on time. Get unloaded, get moved before opening time, as a courtesy to everybody else. And uh, if it looks like you're going to be this late, where you're going to be setting up probably at least an hour into opening time, 
just skip the first day and try to come in the next day and actually get there on time. Don't. Ugh. I don't. I do not have a good feeling about my neighbors this year. The pretzel wagon. I don't know what it is. What they do differently with their pretzels, but they are so good. If you're friends with them, and they have some that they have to get rid of because they can't save them till the next day, sometimes they come on by and give them to you. Pays to be friends. Okay, Bio Billy's is here. I've got a Bio Billy's mug. It's. I've had it for like four years now. I refilled it. I don't know how many times. But that's the deal. You buy a mug. You can fill it as many times as you want, as long as that business is in business. Bring it back, fill it up year after year for a dollar per refill. Standing in the middle of the ride company area now, looks like they are still kind of gearing up, getting things started. Heating up the fryers, all of that kind of stuff. And uh, yeah, see like this game station he's not even open yet. They're still setting out balloons right there for the darts. This is a really clean, well-run ride company, though. The monkey is eating a sucker. So what's the laws in Indiana for them? There is none. There isn't none? No. Nope. See, I have to get my little mama sack. I really want a little mama sack. Yeah, That's I got a, she, he breeds them too. Really? They're like 3,500. Hey, you give me his number. Wow. Yeah, well, I can give you mine. Okay. Mister. <laughs> it's like, yeah, yeah, what is it? Well, guys, it is the next morning now, and I just finished up uh, editing and creating the new intro and getting it spliced into the beginning of yesterday's vlog. Took me a little while. Kind of curious, what do you guys think of it? Is it too long? Is it the wrong kind of music? What do you think? Uh, leave something down in the comments. And also, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Um, subscribe. I'm going to remind you again. Subscribe and hit the bell icon, and um, look forward to seeing you guys in the next one.